Welcome to the Flaky Cypress Test Solutions Exercises. This is level 7 exercise, so you can check out the code and try finding the source of a flake yourself. In this exercise, I added a backend API service. So I'm using JSON server and I started on local port 4000. And I'm using it to save a list of students and fetch it when application starts. To make the test simpler, I reset the data to an empty list before each test. The test is pretty much the same. We are entering all the values. We check that the button shows saved. The record is showing in the list. And then to verify that the application saved the data on the backend and can load it again, we are reloading the window and then we checking that the record is shown again. Let's see if this works. I switch to Cypress and I'm going to run all the tests. We can see the records being entered. The test is passing. Let's see if any of the test runs shows a fail test. Okay, right here it seems to be failing and it did fail. So let me stop it. So this test entered the record, clicked on the submit button. The button shows saved. You can see it right here. You can see the record. So the site contains path. Then we executed site reload. And it's loading the data and we don't see any records. So our assertion site contains failed. What's happening? It seems like our UI is showing that the record has been saved. But how does it save it? It has to make a call to the backend. If we look at the successful test, and one of the techniques for finding the source of flake is to compare a successful test to a failed one, one by one. So notice what happens right here. We are clicking on the submit button and it makes a post request to the backend to save the data. Where is this request? Right here. It's nowhere to be found. It seems like our UI is a little bit too optimistic. It shows save even though it hasn't executed the call to actually post the record to the backend. So this is why we don't see it right here. We see a get which happens when application just loads, right? You can see the same get right here. In the successful test, we see, after we clicked, we see a post call. Then we reload the page, we see a get again, returns all the students and the students is found. Okay, so what's happening? Well, it seems like we reload the page before the network call has been actually executed. And when you reload a window object, it stops all callbacks and all fetches that it's scheduled to run because they're no longer needed. So what can we do to fix this for good? Well, it seems like instead of just checking if the button shows saved and the record is there, we also have to wait for the network call to save the data has finished. No problem, we can do it using site intercept. So we can, before we click on the button, we can say intercept post calls, right? To, uh, let's say, I'm going to use a regular expression, students, and I'll say save. Okay, and once we clicked, we know that one application might take a while to actually call the network call. So we'll wait for the save to happen. Let's see right now, the first test, notice we clicked, we waited, and we see this call there. And now every call, even it takes a while to actually execute the network call, right? We'll make sure it finished before it continues, and most important, before it reloads the page and sees the data. Now, if you want to see this in action, go to the code editor, go to the application source, in the API, you see this save people call, right? That's actually making the post to the backend after a delay. It's pretty random, but if you increase it to, let's say, between 1000 and, so basically slightly above one second, and run the test again, now notice how the wait for the call actually is waiting, right? And the test really doesn't reload the page until the app has finished saving the data. So this was the solution to the level 7 exercise, noticing that the application has a delay 
before saving the data using a network call, spying on that network call and using SciWay to make sure that network call has finished before we continue with the task.